Good evening, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. This is your Universalist 3 Divine Wind, Death and Taxes. We're up to version 7.7. .7. I went to get my laundry after recording the last episode, and that took about, I don't know, 10 minutes. I got back, and they had released a new version of Death and Taxes. So, yeah, they're pretty... They're keeping up with this shit, which is good, because there's a lot of stuff that they still need to fix. But I'm glad they're releasing it in little chunks, so you don't have to wait and wait and wait. You can just get on with it. Anyway, Shia. Oh, we actually have Infamy. How about that? It's kind of good, and it's kind of bad, because uh, it means we took some new land. High five. And it also means we have to wait before we go to war again, because I don't want... Oh, excuse me. Because I don't want to get a whole bunch of infamy. Peasants. Peasants! Anyway, we are at peace. We still have claims on shit. And we currently have a mission to vassalize Law and Nob. We have to wait two years before we do that. Two and a half years. No, three and a half years. Holy shit. So, that's going to be a while. In the meantime... In the meantime, I would be curious to find out what this means. China owned by Shia. I mean, I assume there's a Chinese region? Region map mode. Yeah, so this is China. But all of it? Do we have to own all of that? Not that. Here. All of that? Really? Man, that would be... That would be complicated. In the meantime, we can relax, put our feet up, do nothing, and then go to war and vassalize these clowns to lose a little infamy. So I guess we could get a little infamy between now and then. We can go to war with these guys. Allied with Manapur, whoever the fuck that is. Religious liberation. Full annexation of Kachin. You know what? Why not? Who the fuck's going to go against us? What else are we going to do with our infamy between now and then, you know? So everyone joined on our side. That's excellent. Still have Tianwan as our ally. Ming, you know, still kind of chilling. Could get Fong back. That would be nice if we got Fong back. You only have two alliances. Yeah, let's try to give them some money and get them back in our good graces. Man, this army is so depleted. Oh my goodness, 6,000 guys just out of nowhere. Alright, let's go that way. Wait, March? June. They're not going to get there till June. <laughs> Alright, you go replace them and we'll go this way. Haha! -ha. Actually, why don't you take the less, the less, whatever it's called, root. Manapur is also coming. Okay. Ming canceled access again. They really want to go to war with us. Jesus Christ. Have your access back. There you go. So after playing as Pomerania for a while, I really think that system that is in place for the Holy Roman Empire, the current system for death and taxes for the Holy Roman Empire, I think that system should be applied to every single territory in the game except for New World, like colonialization. What I mean is I think you should get infamy that just doesn't go away when you take provinces that you don't have cores on. It would make sense to me for that to happen everywhere in the world. Like we just took these three provinces, Guiyang, Sing. Uh, Sing Yu and Guangzhou and Hong Kong, and I think we should have infamy that doesn't go away for taking those provinces until we get cores on them. Like Kham, 
shouldn't have any infamy because we got our core on it through an event, uh, through a mission actually. So shouldn't be any infamy. But the rest, I think we should. I think that would really slow down the uh, rapid, rapid spread that you see in this game sometimes. Rapid expansion. Then of course you could always go the fuck infamy route and you know wind up with a whole bunch of infamy. All right, so he's gonna arrive 27th. So we'll head there as soon as, soon as he arrives. That'll be cool. Let's put our better leader in though. He's better. There we go. Maybe we can peace out Manipur. Where are they anyway? Oh, that's them right there. Manipur. Peace. No. Alright. Well, fuck you. Only a minus one. Good. We outnumber them two to one. Ow. Ow. That's better. That's fine. Okay, they died a lot, so did we. They're running back to Kachin. I guess we'll follow. And Manipur is running away. They're like, oh my god, that army's huge. Get the fuck out of here. Run for your lives. <laughs> yeah. The hell is this shit? You got some peasants? Yeah, peasants. Oh, whatever. Oh, we're about to catch him. Damn it, Monopur got away. Oh, we have a minus six penalty here. Ouch! Minus six! That's just terrible. Oh, we, we annihilated them. Didn't matter. Wait to the end of the month, get our morale up, and then we'll siege. Damn it, gonna fail. Oh well, it's worth a shot. Alright, let's leave two guys. And the rest of us shall advance. They want peace already. Ha <laughs> ha! You're an idiot. Why'd you give me what I want? Oh, I can't. Damn it! Stop canceling access, Ming. You know you want access. See? Man, if if they keep doing that, then I know they want to go to war with my ass. Alright, we arrived in their capital. Nothing too interesting going on here. We'll just sit right there for a while. Yeah, the 7.7 .7 update didn't really do anything that affects us directly. They did some that affects Joseon. I think they did one that affects Ming, but for the most part they didn't do much that affects our area. Damn it. Don't reject Alliance. I really need to hold on to those diplomats for when Ming cancels our access again. Which they will. Why don't you go do something productive, Ming? God damn it, Ming. Every time they do that, we lose 10 relations. Every time. So we're gradually going down with relations. We're going to have... Hey, we converted Calm already. Damn, that was quick. So religiously, we're looking smooth. Very nice. Have to remember to convert Lan Na uh, while we are vassalizing them. Totally forgot to do that with Vietnam. Oh, well. Ming says an alliance is impossible. That's when you know you're up shit creek with them. Well, that and when they keep canceling access like that. 
we're going to have to start spending lots of dollars just to keep them happy. I hate to do that, but I'd rather not die to Ming. That would suck. Keeping Ming happy could be super duper important for our success in this game. So we're definitely going to try to do that for the for the foreseeable future. Anything interesting going on down here? Not really. Can't see very much of Indonesia. Can't see any of the Philippines. Emperor's reputation tarnished. Some sort of propaganda text is circulating in the court about how Wang Yi the First is a ruthless power monger. This might impact our relations with other countries. Embrace it or lose stability. We'll lose the stability because we can get that back super quick. Just uh there we go. Oh, yeah, just like half a year, no big deal. It's faster than losing infamy for sure. Damn it, Ming. Oh, we're really getting low relations with them now. Well, I mean, still above 100, but you don't want to get too low. Get below 100, and they're super duper likely to declare war. Even with the uh, access rights, it doesn't mean they'll. It doesn't necessarily mean they'll stop them from declaring war. Oh, fucking rebels right on our head! God damn it! And I can't do anything about it either because this army. I'm gonna lose the seat. No, no, it's my vassal over there. All right, we're fine. Come on, survive long enough. 17th, and we have to wait in a whole nother month. Come on. Oh my god, please hold on. 17 more days, come on. Damn it. Oh man, that siege was almost done. God, that's annoying. Might even lose that. Roll in a zero. Damn it, Ming! There you go. Oh, we killed them. All of them. You gotta be fucking kidding me. We lost all of our siege progress in Nagaland because our fucking vassal failed to take that shit from... Failed to hold on to that shit from Manipur. God damn it. Fucking rebels. Terrible timing. Whatever. Let's just finish catching and get this war over with. Pissing me off. Do you want peace yet, Manipur? No. Hundred percent. Come on, finish that shit. This city will surrender any day now. Yeah, I've seen that uh, that before. Ooh, level five high judge. Cool. All right, Kachin's done. Get this shit over with. I want that. They'll say yes. You don't have any cores on my shit. Get rid of your core on my vassal shit, though. And that's it. And don't care about your relations. Oh, we could vassalize them right now. No, not going to bother. You don't have any dollars. You suck. Let's get rid of your relations, I guess. All right. Now we just have to wait for next year to vassalize Lan Na. Not really allied with anyone scary, so cool. Religious liberation on Arakan. For all of these places, really? 
No, everything except Arakan. Ah, because Arakan is a Muslim state, but they are holding on to four states that are not Muslim. It's too bad they are all grain and naval supplies. Ew. But that will not stop me from going after them for that. That is a great uh, thing. That causes Belly's fantastic when it's a different religion uh, from the lands that they control. So if only we had a missionary, we could start converting that place. But, you know, one step at a time. No rush. It's a good thing we're still making money, even with all these troops raised and full military support. Damn it, we're almost below 100 relations. That's scary. Ooh, big rebels. Cantonese patriots. I think those are mine. Yes, they are. So if those patriots are successful, that will become my province. Very cool. Yeah, they got more rebels. What are these? Taoist heretics. Cool. Yeah, fall apart, Ming. Oh, they do have a big army they're going to go send over there. I have to go all the way around Tian one. Okay. I do like that we're getting these vassalization causes, Billy. That's pretty cool. It'll help us stay under our infamy limit of 8.4. What's our military limit right now? 26. We could actually recruit some more douchebags. Why don't we? Uh, 9 and... or 6 and 3? 9 and 3. Damn it, Ming! We're going to waste all of our diplomats on you. Let's get three more douchebags right here. Do we have a core here? Nope, not yet. Not a core yet. Not a core yet. Oh my god. Where are our cores? Only those four provinces. Wow. Man, we have spread very quickly. I'm surprised. Alright. One douchebag. One douchebag. And one douchebag. Just even up our ranks at 12 and 12. Alright, August 19th. Nope. Yeah, August 19th. So, pretty much the end of the month we can declare war. Nope, still says truce, even though it's not August 19th anymore. Guaranteed by Long Zong. Oh, so these guys are going to fight against us. God damn it. Khmer as well. Oh, so this could be a big war. We'll see. It's no guarantee they'll join. Long Zong will definitely join, because that's a guarantee. Independence guarantee. So let's bring you over to Chelly. Let's go this way, please. Thank you. And let's get this war started. Still truce? Come on. Oh, it's next year! Ha <laughs> ha, I'm an idiot. 1392, huh? Yeah, I'm an idiot. It's next year, not this year. Ooh, what are these? Cantonese patriots, again. Oh, Ming kicked them out. Damn it, Ming! Hey, Fong accepted an alliance. Excellent. Be cool if we get Ming to do the same. But they seem intent on going to war with us. Which sucks. Go pick on someone else, Ming. Damn it. Yeah, they cancelled rights again. Fucking hell, Ming. Oh, God damn it, Ming. And now we're losing money again because of all these troops. So we'll stop funding them for now. Should put us back in the positive, I hope. Negative 12.3 plus 17. Nice. Come on, Ming, fall apart. Oh, yep, they got Beijing, see? 
Beijing is now Ming. That is a hugely important province. Huge population. Uh, really high tax, base tax. And good manpower, too. So, I mean, it's a nice province. I'm sure our best is Dali. Yep, good manpower. Good base tax. Oh, Dali's very nice. Mmm. Not as many people as Beijing, though, but still, very good. Alright, we've got our two armies ready to go. We're going to need both, that's for sure. I wonder who's going to be the leader in the war. Who's the largest country? Oh, damn it, Ming. Fucking hell, man. 85 relations. 85. Oh, for fuck's sake, Ming. Really, our maximum manpower is 11,700. That is sad. Whoa, you got some rebels going on here, Vietnam. Pretender rebels. Come on, man. Get that shit under control. I'm going to need you in this war here. Border friction on Tibet, 50% infamy for Dangla and Amdo. But it won't give me cores. And it's just more shit that's pretty far away. Walking through these provinces takes forever. I'm not super against doing it, it's just annoying. They're not considered part of China, so I'm not super concerned about it. Hold on, I have to sneeze. Oh my god, that was loud. Yeah, we could do these clowns. Mogulistan and Bengal. Mogulistan, really? That probably would not be fun to fight against. But there's no guarantee they would join us. Oh, join against us, I mean. Come on, Ming. You know you want access through our lands. Alright, you finished with that shit, Vietnam? God damn it. July, one more month. One more month. One more month. We could demand annexation of Vietnam, but it's not worth it. Oh, poor Ming. We were at 190 relations. 190. Now we're down to 77. Golden era for culture. Nice. 190. How is our culture doing? 46. It's not that bad. Our king has lived for a good, decent while now. It's good. I wish we had more money. We could start building some of these buildings. That'd be nice. I like buildings. Alright, let's go to war. Mongol Khanate, don't care. Khmer, I guess I should care. There are only four provinces, though. Sukhothai, one province, I don't care. Longzong, I definitely care. They're a decent-sized army. But everyone's going to join on our side, so let's do it. Oh, wait, one second. I need to... One second, one second, one second. I need to supply my army. There we go. Man, that could have been bad. All right, so, yeah. Uh, Long Zong is the leader. So that wound up with a lot of people at war with us, including Ayat Haya and Pegu. This could be a huge war. It could take a very long time as well. We'll see. I would like to deal with Lan Na quickly, and then deal with these guys quickly, and just get out of the war as fast as possible. All right, Ming, you need access. Stop being dickholes. Thank you. Oh my god, here they come. 
there. That stopped it. Nope, they're still coming. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. They're doing great. Oh, they're bringing more troops. Damn. Pegu's troops. There we go. We have backup. They have backup. Yeah, we should win this. Looking good. Nice. Nice. We killed a lot of them. Uh, the weak army is running to Sukotai. So let's take the one... Oh, we lost a leader? Yeah, no, he just doesn't have an army for some damn reason. Well, let's take the leaderless army. And head down there. See if we can't wipe out that army. Then we'll have to give it a leader. Oh, we got there first. Oh, we just we slaughtered the army. Cool. Oh, almost got it. So close. Damn it, Ming. Oh my goodness, 49 relations. Oh. If they ever say no to that offer, we're up shit creek. Not looking forward to that. Oh, cool. Fong has decided to help us. Nice. Thank you. Oh, 79 troops. Come on. All right, Sukhothai's done. They want peace. Big surprise. 11 ducats. What can we demand from them? We can annex them for 8 infamy. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, we can't take any dollars except what they're offering us. So, sure, we'll take their dollars and they get out of the war. I don't care about your religion. Just get out of the war. All right, let's go to Chiang Mai. Let's, let's take this back. So Khmer is now out of the war. That's good. Oh, we forgot to give a commander to this army. Oops. Oh, well, they don't have a commander either. Oh, Fong is making progress. Nice. Good, good. Damn it, Ming. Come on, man. Relations are down to 51. Ugh. Sickening. That's Kamada. Where's Bhutan? I don't know. Looks like someone else might have taken them over. Yeah, they got conquered. Oh, there's Bhutan. Herpskaderpski. Get that alliance back. Nice. Damn it, 100 people left.
damn it, Ming. Oh, at least it's still very likely. Shit. I don't know why it's very likely, but whatever. I'm not complaining. Thirty-three people left. Come on. I don't want Fong to start taking shit down here. I want this vassal. Quickly, please. There we go. Alright, vassal them. Uh, religion and vassal. Damn it! We have to go to Chiang Mai. Please do hurry. Nice. Okay, that should be enough. 50. Maybe not. Nope, not enough. Damn it. Okay, come down here. And hopefully my vassal will be smart enough to siege. Which means they probably won't be smart enough to siege. But hopefully. Let's get Pegu out of the war. Nope, they don't want it. Let's get Ayat Haya out of the war. Oh, we can't. Oh, they're in a personal union under Long Zong. Interesting. I'm sure I noticed that earlier, but uh, I didn't remember it. Come on, vassal. Siege. Siege, vassal. Siege. Food sorted. Good. Our infamy is already below 2.0. Hurry up. We have Taoist heretics. The Timurids have been, the Timurids are in Tibet. What the fuck? Come on, siege it! Damn it, we're gonna have to go over here. Where is this place that's getting attacked? Oh, way over there! Holy shit! Yeah, we have to go stop that. Hopefully we can make it in time. Damn. Eighty-eight percent and a wall busted. Nice. Yes, wall busted. Not not ball busted. Thank you. Pegu has control over there. Interesting. There we go, 100%. Haha. <laughs> Alright, don't want to annex. We want to vassalize. That'll get rid of two infamy. We'll be down to zero infamy. Give me all your dollars as well. Don't care about your relations. Excellent. So now we have no infamy. Now what? Save calm. Calm is under siege. What will that get us? Oops. Lose a little bit of war exhaustion. Well, we do have a little bit, so... Okay. I'll try to save Calm. Damn it, can you please go through Chelly? Like that? Thank you. Or just go this way? I don't know which way is longer. That's what she said. Just go that way. All right, now let's go ahead and get out of this war because we don't need this war anymore. Will you give me anything? No. Will you give me dollars or concede defeat? No. All right, let's just white piece him out. Who cares? All right, war's over. Everybody party. Got a new vassal. Ah, shit. Now there's more territory that has woo cores. God damn it. On the other hand, this place might turn into my province. Very cool. Rebels. God damn it. Pretend 
Pretender Rebels. Yeah, I don't care about Pretender Rebels. Damn it, Ming. I do so much for you. Stop being bastards. I don't know if I can get to calm in time. Maybe. It's at 100% with the walls boosted. I don't think we can get there in time. And we have no diplomats now. Jesus. Oh, maybe. 30th of July. 10 more days. Come on. Damn it! Fuck, we failed. Now what? Incorporate Lan Na into our country. Oh, come on. We, we just vassalized him. Come on. Why would you give me that mission? We just vassalized him. We just vassalized him. We just vassalized him. For fuck's sake. Ugh. Whatever. Okay, let's send you guys back home to King Zo. And you guys need to siege that. And you can head over here to Kachin. Oh, we have no infamy, huh? We should go over here. And get ready to invade Arakan. But that's gonna have to wait for the next episode. So Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode today. You'll have to see uh, what happens next time to see if we can continue uh, a little bit of expansion. We have to make sure we keep a diplomat handy, though, in case Ming cancels our access, which they're very likely to do. One thing to note is if they ever lose their leader, like if he ever dies, or if they ever change to a different government type, I think they will lose that mission. No, but their mission is Conquest de Tong which is not part of my country. It's part of someone else's country. Da Tong. There. It's right there. That's their mission. But no, they want to go to war with me. In fact, they have not declared war since they started canceling access with me, which means they definitely have focused on me. But hopefully we'll be able to uh, keep them happy for the time being. Because if we can continue to get more powerful, get some more vassals, get some more land and they stagnate, then we have an opportunity to grow larger than they are. Oh, we'll see. Anyway, thank you for joining Chen Plays tonight, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.